in a rip it from you. you. Riding around in my cool. cool. Rory, that yeah. ain't got no roof. roof. Sorry, I cannot get loose. loose. I'm always chasing the Benjamins. Yeah. G'day beast and welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel today and in today's video I'm going to be talking about the Mega L that I caught on the re latest release of the Yeezy 500. If you do go on to enjoy today's video, don't forget to smack the video like and also subscribe, join the beast. If you guys are brand new around here, thank you so much for watching, let's jump right into it. Okay, so my apologies for the last two Miss Sunday videos, I had an awesome video planned for you guys for this Sunday. I was doing a trip down to the city and I was going to capture the whole thing for copying the 500, except that didn't work out. I had a DIY video I did on Sunday, which you'll be seeing as soon as that is finished. I didn't like the intro on the outro, the lighting was terrible, and overall, the quality wasn't that good, so I've had to redo some of the aspects of that video. So be sure to see that off-white DIY video coming very shortly. Anyway, jumping into the content of this video, let's talk about the L that I caught on the Yeezy 500. So, short story, I live in a town that is more north of Melbourne, and I had to travel two hours. I got up at 4.30 in the morning to head down to Melbourne, and to my luck, I got there at about 7.30, and that wasn't too bad, because I thought I had enough time, walked about a K and a half to the store, and when we got there, there wasn't really much of a line, there was a few tents scattered around this alleyway. However, I still thought I had a bit of a chance. I was sort of standing around this store called Sneaker Boy in Melbourne, and it didn't really work out too well for me. I, I sort of was standing around there, and shout out to a couple of guys that came from the Adidas store. They said head over to Adidas, because they opened at 8 in the morning, and we were waiting until 10 for this store to open, which was still another two hours away. So we thought, scrap waiting for that. We went to Adidas in the main sort of big shopping center and we stood in the back of the line. And thank God we did because the culture there was a lot better. So at Sneaker Boy, there was pretty much just people like yelling and yelling at each other like this whole time and fighting over sneakers, which I hadn't seen firsthand because this was my first release to go to in person. So I wasn't really about that. I was glad when I got to Adidas, the line was a lot more civil and everyone was quite nice. We were just chilling, talking about sneakers and all this sort of stuff, sharing stories. So that was quite cool. But once we got towards the front of the line, after about 40 minutes of waiting, I would say, we got to within the, probably, I would say, maybe the next six people or five people because the guys that I was talking to in front of me were just in front of me, and they got told that uh, only size eights were left at the Adidas store, and I wear a size 13, so eights were not gonna fit me whatsoever. So instead of copying a pair for uh, resale market, I just decided not to do that, not to be a shit bloke, and just move on because I wasn't gonna cop sneakers that weren't my size. So I turned around, came back, and when I got some food, went back to the Sneaker Boy line just after 10. They released at 10, and I think I got there about 10 past 10, and walked in, asked what the go was, and they were all sold out. So that was an L for the Yeezy 500. I've been trolling the Facebook sites that sort of are prevalent in Australia, try and find a good pair at a reasonable price because they aren't really going too much over the retail. Probably I would be comfortable paying $30 or $40 over retail. Give the person their money for at least copying a pair, but I wasn't gonna go too crazy. So I've been trolling around for a size 13. If you have a size 13, hit me up. But that is besides the point. I just wanted to share my L story because we quite often hear W stories from the bigger YouTubers, but let's hear about the L stories because that's probably what you guys are experiencing just as much as I am and a lot of other people are as well. So hopefully uh, I can get that delayed W, not exactly an L, but we'll get that W eventually on the 500. The reason why I thought I would head down is because I thought not many people were really feeling this sneaker and I thought I had a pretty good chance of copying a sneaker that not many people were feeling. Little did I know, them little hype beasts absolutely love shoes regardless of how they look or whether they want to wear them. Um, especially when I was about, uh, I reckon I was about 10 from the front of the Adidas line and I saw this very small person with very small feet 
walking out with a big old box that was at least size 14. And I was thinking, well, you know, I probably would have caught that pair because size 14 I can work with. I've got a few size 14 sneakers. So, yeah, I was pretty pissed off when I saw that, nevertheless. But that pretty much wraps up my little L story from the weekend just gone. It was a mad release weekend. We had the Shadows, the Vapor Maxes, the Air, uh, what we had, the Undefeated collab, and also the Yeezy. So, there were sort of like four big releases plus a little little smaller ones that was dotted around there as well. So I didn't get anything. Uh, let's just put it that way. I didn't make any other purchases. So I don't even have any pickups for you guys. I've been trolling around for some striped pants as well. So that is probably going to be the next pickup. Um, I might have something good coming in the mail within the next week to a week and a half. Hopefully I'll be able to show you guys that and do a little bit of an unboxing or... Maybe even just show it. I don't, I don't know. Just check out the Instagram. Instagram is at Beast to Waste for daily fashion content that I haven't been posting for probably two weeks now. So I probably need to get back on that as well. Um, sorry for you guys that have been waiting for these videos. And I have already filmed them. I've got them in the pipeline to come swooping in for some big content at the end of this week. And also going onwards as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hit the video a like if you did enjoy it. and comment down below if you've got a size 13 and if you also caught an L or if you got a W. Let me know how you guys went for the weekend gone depending on what sneakers you were after of course. So thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Brodos. You have been awesome. Stay classy.